Hey guys, welcome back inside the toy room. I just put up this uh, display from the Force Awakens. Well, it's the sequel trilogy stuff. I guess Force Awakens to Last Jedi time period ish. But Zori Bliss is hanging out here too, so I don't know. Sequel trilogy stuff, but Poe's ship's still alive. <laughs> Kind of like a hangar bay sort of setup. I had to put all the ships somewhere. Pilots are over here hanging out. Snap and Hello Etsy, right? Eleven's here because I didn't know where else to put her. Talking to him and Bucket. Got some mechanics working on this ship over here. A Porg standing by. We'll pretend that's Force Ghost, Luke, Force Ghost Luke. But that's kind of the desktop sequel trilogy hangar bay. But today we're taking a look at the Dragonfly from G.I. Joe. Real American hero, G.I. Joe is there. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> With Wild Bill. Yes, this is the most awesome helicopter toy ever created i had this when i was a kid and i just recently got one off ebay during this quarantine and this is i'm blown away i gotta say i really did not expect that i would ever get one again in this condition um i probably for the last three or four or five months i have been Occasionally putting in Dragonfly. Look at the cockpit on this thing, man. The stickers in there to make it look all cool. You know, it's got all the dials and gauges. But I have been, yeah, looking for months. I, I always do a search. I say Dragonfly and just see what comes up. And a lot of times this sticker is worn off. I noticed it's that's the Hardy sticker, his name. Um... William Hardy, and it's, it's sort of rubbed off. But all the other stickers look pretty good. There's one or two others that are kind of rubbed off, but the rest look pretty good. The blade spins fine. You can use that little white thing to move it. All the missiles are here. You've got this gun down on the on the skids. I had to buy the hose, the hoses that attach separately. This little thing up here with a Gatling gun and a radar kind of thing. There's some kind of dealy on there. There's a hook to go down, foot pegs for characters to ride on the side. Really cool. But yeah, I just um, have been looking for months, and usually they're in wrecked up, wrecked shape. They're usually messed all up and broken, missing a lot of pieces. But this one came up just missing four missiles and the hose attachment for the gun. And I got it for about half as much. It was so cheap. I was blown. I'm, I'm still blown away. From what I've seen these go for, I got an incredible deal. Wild Bill's head turns. Wild Bill here is so stiff that he's like a brand new figure. Arms, the arm twist. You got the kung fu grip going on there. Bendy elbows. He's got the standard G.I. Joe, like, waist movement there. His legs move up and down, and the knees bend, of course. So he could fit in his little seat there and fly the helicopter. He is, like, so stiff. I mean, I can barely move this this arm. It's so tight. He's like a brand new figure. Came with the with the copter, and I got the, um, the... What do you call it? So I'll show him in a minute. Look at him. He's got his cool sunglasses, a nice hat, double uh, revolvers on each side. This guy is ready to kick butt. Wild Bill. Yahoo! And he's, he can sit down here and go right in the cockpit. Just like so. I had this thing as a kid, and I played with it to death. The one that I ended up having, the helicopter blades on top broke off. The wings broke off. I lost the 
covers for the engines. I even think part of the, the, the tip of the tail ended up breaking off. Um, I lost the skis, the guns, everything about it because I played with this. This was the most played with toy of G.I. Joe that I had. And um, look at these skis. Look at this gun. This is the hose attachment I had to buy separately. And um, found it for only $4. Here's the hook thing. There's a little winch down here underneath. Let me get to it here so you guys can see this. You got to winch it. I'm trying to winch on camera but keep the hook on camera too. But you can kind of rotate that winch and it'll go up and down. So you can pick up characters in cargo and fly it around. And then, of course, we got these covers here. Let me get this one off. There we go. And you can see the engine parts there. And that just clips right back on. Like I said, I think I lost these when I was a kid. It's like so easy to lose those covers. And this side pops off also. Eh, there we go. Because I think what would happen is eventually you'd break the little tabs that hold it in. There's a little dirt in there, but I'll get that cleaned up. I just basically pulled this out of the mail and got the... Well, the missiles came today. I pulled this out of the mail yesterday, but the missiles came today, so I figured I'd do the video because now it's complete. But there were four missiles missing. It only came with two of the six. But yeah, you just flip this uh, handle here, this little white thing, and the r rotor moves. Which is so cool for a toy of, what's this, 1985, I think it is? 84, 85, somewhere in that range. And uh, look at the stickers are still on the gun, on the ski pads. This was just awesome. And yeah, like I said, I mean, this was the most played with toy that I had as a kid. And I am ecstatic to have this back in my collection. You guys don't even know how excited I am. This is like awesome. I can't believe it. This is so cool. And during this break, man, I mean, there's some stuff on eBay for such good deals. On Twitter, I was posting some things yesterday as I was searching around. So some of you guys might have got some really good deals from those. Because I found some really good stuff that I posted up there on Twitter for other people to buy. Helicopter pilot, codename Wild Bill, file name Hardy, comma, William S. Primary military specialty, helicopter pilot, secondary specialty, fixed wing pilot, arm, aircraft armorer, birthplace, Brady, Texas, grade CW4. He's a chief warrant officer. Hardy served as combat infantryman and participated in LL, LRRP, long range reconnaissance patrol operations during Southeast Asian debacle. What? What debacle? I want to know more. Reenlisted for flight warrant officer school and has since remained in service. Specialized training. Classified. Qualified expert M1, M1-19-1A auto pistol, but prefers single action 45 long Colt revolvers. XM-16 attack rifles. He can handle it. He's amiable and slow talking. Fancies himself a country western sing singer. He's totally honest in personal dealings, but not beyond, spin, not beyond spinning a tall tale for the amusement of his comrades. Woo-hoo! Wild Bill! <laughs> He's at your service. Well, I think that's going to cover it, right? I mean, like, like I said, I, this was my favorite to toy as a kid for G.I. Joe-wise. I mean, my, my favorite toy was some of the Star Wars stuff, but... Um, when I, this was like the top for G.I. Joe. This was so up there. One of my favorite toys for G.I. Joe. And I beat the hell out of this thing. I played with it so much. And I'm so happy and so excited to have this back in my collection. And it's such a great deal during this quarantine. I have had such a blast making sure everything works. Getting the missiles today. And, um, you know, just making sure this thing... Finishing it off. Getting it complete. And, uh... Oh, this is going to go in a place of, you know, prominence somewhere in the in the collection on display somewhere. So, yeah. Woohoo, this is awesome. Thanks a lot for joining me, guys. I really appreciate it. I'm real happy you took a look at this thing with me. And uh, the contest is still going on. So just uh, leave a comment in the video below 
leave a comment down here and you'll be entered to for a chance to win either some Star Wars figures from Kenner. Vintage Kenner, yes. We're giving away some vintage Kenner Star Wars figures. And the other option is some vintage Gen 1 Transformers. And if I'll, I'll put the link in the description below to the video that explains all the details and how you can win the, one of those. How you, you know, just really it's just put a comment on this video or any video that's posted till April 1st. And on April 1st, that's Wednesday of this week, April 1st, 2020, we will pick a name out of everyone who's commented on all the videos and uh, during during the contest, I mean, you know, from the, yeah, you know what I'm saying. And uh, we'll uh, pick a winner for each one of those things. All right, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Really appreciate it. Go Joes! G.I. Joe! Yo, Joe! See you guys. Bye.